A woman, accidentally caught in Dark Deal, turns the tables on her captors and transforms into a merciless warrior evolved beyond human logic. This is my review of Lucy. The first trailer for Lucy got my attention because not only did it star Scarlett Johansson, but it had a style to it, and it seemed like it was going to be a really fun movie to watch. So I had that on my radar, and the trailers that came out after the first trailer were um, as good as the first trailer, in my opinion. So I couldn't wait to see Lucy, and I saw it with my dad a few weeks ago. And I have to tell you guys that after seeing Lucy, I think that Lucy is so-so. The good points. The best thing coming out of this movie is the concept of the movie. And the concept of this movie is that the human brain can only use 10% of its brain, even though that's not true because we can use any part of our brain, but just 10% of like any part of our brain. But anyways, the concept is that you can use like almost all of your brain all at the same time. And we've seen in past movies that had the same concept, that if you use all the brain at the same time, then you can be super intelligent. But what if you can be more than just super intelligent? And that's why I like the most about this movie, since that's a spin to this concept that's been done before. The second best thing coming out of this movie is the acting from Scarlett Johansson, because out of the entire cast, I thought she did the best job in the movie. And I'll get to my issues later on with the cast and the bad points, but for the most part, I think that Scarlett Johansson did a good job, like I said. Two other things that I can say are good about this movie are some of the directing throughout the movie and some of the visual likes that I saw throughout the movie. For the directing, I liked how the director directed some of the scenes in the movie because it felt like the right style and tone for those scenes. Any scenes involved action sequences or when Scarlett Johansson's character was like changing and, and evolving. As for the visual effects, I thought that there were some visual effects that were cool in my opinion. The bad points. So the thing I hate about this movie was the last section of this movie. And the last section of this movie lasted for 20 minutes, I believe. And this last section has the climax of the movie. And after witnessing the climax of the movie, I was like, wait, that's it? That's what you're giving us? And then it ends and I was like, oh, come on. It was just anticlimactic in my opinion and very disappointing. Another thing that was bad in this movie was the directing, and I thought that the directing at points got a little bit too artsy, and in this movie I thought this movie was not going to be the type of movie that was going to be artsy, but the director made some parts of this movie artsy, and I was like, oh my god, like this is a little bit boring. The writers could have done a better job in my opinion because of the concept behind Lucy. And one of the things I hated about the writing was that they didn't really explain the drug that much. I mean, they explained it a little bit, but not into, like, full detail about, like, how, like, it got Lucy to the super intelligent level and whatnot. But I'll explain that later on in the spoiler section. Another thing I didn't like about the writing was that they made Lucy just too invincible. And I can't really get behind a character and I can't really feel terrified for her when she's like super invincible and invulnerable. Another thing I didn't like about the writing was that it seemed too cheesy at some points with the dialogue. And another thing about the dialogue was that it seemed a little bit weird with some of the conversations that the characters had with each other at some points. The editing of this movie was another thing that I thought could have been done better because... There were moments in this movie where it felt like scenes were out of place, and most of these scenes were towards the beginning of the movie. I said before that the visual effects were good at some points, but most of the time I thought the visual effects were just bad because I didn't see anything special about the effects. And there were many moments to me actually where I felt like the visual effects weren't finished for some particular scenes. And the last thing I'll say is that some of the acting from some of the cast members could have been done better. Because I felt that there were moments in this movie where the actors either were just bleak or they were generic with their acting or they were underacting. So like I said, I saw this movie with my dad. My dad gives this movie a 2.5 out of 4 stars while I give it a 1.75 out of 4 stars. Like I said, I thought the movie was so-so. It had a really good concept behind it. Scarlett Johansson was the best thing about this movie also and some directing and visual effects were good, but it just had so many problems in my opinion that it just didn't do the movie justice when I thought it was going to be this entirely different movie. So really can save your money right now and just wait until this movie comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. 
All right, the spoiler section for Lucy. If you haven't seen Lucy yet, then get out of here now if you still want to see it at the movie theater or you're just waiting for it to come on DVD and Blu-ray because I'm going to be spoiling it. I mean, why do you guys want me to spoil something for you if you want to see it for yourself? I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense unless you've seen the movie right now. Then if you've seen the movie, then stay here. So like I said before, I thought the final 20 minutes of this movie were just really terrible and anticlimactic and disappointing. In the end, Lucy turns all the machines around her when she's in that um, room at the campus or college or whatever into like this like giant um, massive supercomputer, I guess, and gathers all the information from the past about the universe and everything into this like um, it looks like some sort of like thumb drive or something, and it's like and it's like a looks like a piece of space also. And when the police officer asks where Lucy is, and when he opens his cell phone up when it's ringing to see a message saying, I'm everywhere, so that's Lucy saying that she's everywhere. And it's like he closes it, looks around, and goes out of the room. And when Lucy says the final line, and it goes to the credits, it's like, that, what, that was it? That, that was the ending? I wonder what the writers were thinking about when they were writing this ending, because... I would have made this movie differently, and here's what I would have done. So when Lucy escapes from her captors and goes to the hospital to get surgery on to get the drugs out of her body, and when she finds out from the surgeon that the amount of drugs in her system would kill her in 24 hours, my thought process would be like, okay, if I were Lucy, then I would just get revenge on this entire organization so that nothing happens to anyone else like me again. But no, the writers decided to like do this really sort of generic thing where it's like just gather all the information from the past and give it to mankind and it's like yeah I haven't seen that before. And the final thing I'll talk about is about the drug because when Lucy's getting operated on to get the drugs out of her and when she asks the surgeon what this drug is and when she tells him what the drug is called and um, he tells her all the information about it and it's really sort of this drug for people for a um, woman that are pregnant and then he said it was for the fetus so that the fetus could be more healthy and then there was no mention of the drug again there was like no mention of like how like a drug for pregnant women to make a healthy fetus would equal like super intelligence and more brain power so that's my review for lucy hope you guys liked it and other than that guys that's it